Sir Harry Croto, as you said, you want people to understand science. How do you think people from poor countries can get the education of science and understand it? What the government of poor countries should do to make people understand science? Well, they should um, get involved in my GSET program because that is aimed at creating this globally accessible cache of educational material and make it accessible throughout the world. I mean, that's what Google and YouTube and Wikipedia have done. They, they have created this infrastructure that allows you to... in people like in Wikipedia who really know something to put it on the web. Young people can make a movie and make it accessible and, and Google has allowed you to find it and Microsoft and other organizations, Apple, have, have worked hard on producing the software and the hardware uh, to do that. So the, the infrastructure to get the educational material to the teacher is there. I still think the teacher is very important. I mean, there will be kids who can learn by themselves from the internet, but I think the teacher is there and the key skill a teacher must have is to be able to um, create enthusiasm in young people for something, particularly something for which they have some uh, particular ability and uh, encourage that gift that all of us have for something creative. And um, the infrastructure is there to help the teachers to do that. We can now record all the great teachers and we're, we're starting to do that. And what's more, I'm finding, we're finding that um, undergraduates and graduates are very good at creating educational material. Um, they ferret out things that are totally unsuspected. So look at my GSET program, tell it to your government people and get involved and make a contribution to this. Um, Wikipedia has shown that working together we can create something fantastic something which far outweighs anything that any single organization can do. I mean, scientific, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica um, is a fantastic uh, compendium and 200 years of work has gone into it, but it's not accessible in the way the internet is. You, at a click of a, of, a, of a mouse you can get moving images at the click of a mouse you can download educational material that you can distribute. At this click of the mouse you can see a great teacher teaching. This is a paradigm shift for education and we must really explore ways and find the best ways of encouraging um, governments to put some of their efforts into this and making a global network of, um, of caches each one uh, in maybe in universities or teaching institutions and making it accessible from everywhere from South Africa to South America to Malaysia to India and then perhaps we will be able to make sure that children in particular are taught how to determine what is true and what is patently not true. That's the most important aspect of education and science is the only philosophical construct that um, can reliably um, determine truth.